Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and today's episode is about the toxicity of the European fire salamander. In an earlier episode, I talked about the fascinating and complex natural history of this salamander in detail. I found this salamander in September in the canton of Ticino, Switzerland in 2022. But in this episode, I will address specifically the poison released by these glands on the fire salamander that may be one of the strongest neurotoxins in the world. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. The fire salamander is one of Europe's largest salamanders and possibly most recognizable and certainly its most toxic salamander. It is black with primarily yellow spots that may appear as orange or with some additional red. It has two very conspicuous paratoid glands, which are the large swollen glands on both sides of its head, and it has two rows of glands that are also capable of releasing toxic fluids on both sides of its back or dorsal surface. This salamander species is unique in that it can spray toxins from these front paratoid glands into the eyes or mouth of an attacker. The spray can reach up to a foot or 12 inches from the salamander. These toxins are powerful enough to be fatal to humans if ingested and are known to be lethal to dogs who have eaten or harassed these salamanders. These neurotoxins are alkaloids, and the primary component is samandarin, and secondarily, another alkaloid called samandarone. Alkaloids are a group of chemicals naturally occurring, particularly in plants, that can be pharmaceutically very active. These alkaloids and fire salamanders vary in their ratios and toxicity across their geographic range and across subspecies. These alkaloids together are extremely toxic and can cause convulsions, respiratory paralysis, hypertension, and hyperventilation. They are known to be toxic to birds, mammals, fish, and other amphibians as well as humans. A toxin can be physically sprayed or an animal that touches, sniffs, or licks the salamander can become very sick as well. The fire salamander advertises its toxicity with its bright colors. This is known as aposematic coloration, where bright colors warn predators. This is actually called honest singling because these salamanders really, really are toxic. Some other organisms that are not toxic will also use these colors to make predators think they're toxic, which is effective, but I guess you would call it dishonest singling. But I assure you, these salamanders, in fact, are the real deal and they're very toxic. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode about the surprisingly toxic fire salamander. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel and give me a like. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. Thanks again for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.